Hi, James here. Uh, now, before I start, the reason why I'm using a microphone is because uh, the microphone in the front of this camera, this isn't my usual camera. Uh, my usual one isn't here, so I'm using this old one, but unfortunately the microphone in the front's broken. So I've got to use a microphone, so sorry about that. Anyway, um, I got an email uh, from somebody saying that they've brought a new computer and a new monitor and they wanted to connect the two together and somebody told them that buying a DVI cable as opposed to a standard VGA cable will give them um, better quality, better picture, so on and so forth. Okay, now it will, but you've got to get the right cable. Now basically what they've said is they went out, brought a cable and um, they brought it home and it doesn't fit. Now they're quite confused because they just thought that, you know, a DVI cable is a DVI cable. You buy one, it fits just like a standard one. Um, but there isn't actually, there's about, well there's loads of different types, but there's five or six main types of uh, DVI cable. So I'm just going to basically go through what they are. Uh, now for those of you who are not familiar with DVI cables, um, basically on the back of your graphics card or on your computer or on the side of your laptop maybe, you'll have a little blue slot which your monitor plugs into. And it's called a VGA slot. Now the DVI slot is the, it could be white, I've seen it sometimes yellow, black, grey, but mainly white slightly longer and it's got a lot more holes in it and that's called a DVI. DVI stands for Digital Video Interface and um, yeah basically it's a better uh, type of connection but you need to make sure you get the right cable. Now I'm using green screen here which is just a green wall basically um, to show you a few pictures of um, different cables so uh, I'm going to show you the main different types of cable and um, how they connect and is that somebody at the door? Yeah, sorry, somebody at the door, bear with me. Ah, sorry about that. Bloody cold callers, piss off. Don't want it. Sorry. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, um, yeah, I'll show you a few different types of um, cable now. So the first one, as you can see here, that is what's known as a DVI-I cable. Okay, so DVI-I. Now, basically what that is, is um, it's analog and digital. Okay, it does both. Um, now a DVI-I cable will only fit in a DVI-I slot, okay, you can't mix the slot types uh, because if you do, basically the pins aren't going to line up, you'll see in a minute. Okay, now, this is still a DVI-I cable but it's what's known as a dual link, right, and basically what that means is you go from the computer to your monitor and then you can go from that monitor to another monitor and you can daisy chain them so you can basically get effectively get two monitors off of one port uh, so that's called a dual link now that will still fit in a standard socket but you know if you don't get a dual link cable um, like this and you do use dual link it won't work basically so if you've got that problem and you're thinking why ain't that working you're scratching your head it might be because you haven't got a dual link cable okay now the next one is uh, DVI-D, okay, stands for DVI Digital. So this is a digital only cable. Now, if I compare a DVI-D to a DVI-I, you can see there's a few differences. Well, no, actually, there's not much difference. Actually, the only difference is the flat bladed pin. You can see on the DVI-I cable, there's um, two pins above and below the flat bladed ground pin and you can see on the digital one they're not there okay so if we look at a digital slot you can see that the pin you can see where the flat bladed pin goes but there's no um, holes to accept the two pins above and below that flat bladed pin so that's not going to fit okay I've heard of dodgy tricks where you can basically get long nose pliers and snap those pins off and it will still work I'm not going to recommend you do that but I will say it does work um, so if you're really, really stuck, you could try that. I'm not going to recommend it. Do that under your own steam. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Okay, now the next one is still a DVI-D cable, but it's DVI-D dual link, okay, which means, again, one cable, two monitors. You can daisy chain the monitors. And you can see the only difference between a dual link and a standard DVI-D cable is there's a few extra pins in the middle, okay. Now, a dvi -D a uh, dual link cable will still fit in a single link socket okay because a DVI socket still has those middle set of pins um a uh, pin holes sorry to receive the pins even if it's not a dual link socket um 
and the last one is uh, DVI-A which stands for DVI analog right? now DVI-A you can see there's a big difference there's hardly any pins on there but you can still see as com as opposed to the digital one that there's still two pins above and below the um, bl flat bladed uh, ground pin okay now that basically means that that analog is not going to fit in a digital socket because um, it's not going to the, the bladed pins aren't going to fit but it will fit in a DVI universal socket which looks like this now if you've got a socket on the back of your um, graphics card or on the back of your computer that looks like that okay you can use any type of cable with that but your monitor might not necessarily have that connector so you need to find out what cable you need basically um, the most common one now if you buy a computer say now or you know in the last year or so maybe from 2007 onwards okay it's gonna basically have a digital um, DVI socket on it they don't really do the analog ones anymore uh, the analog sockets are only really used for converting DVI to a VGA socket if you just want to use dual monitors um, and the DVI I uh, connectors are only really used on high def um, monitors and stuff like that so there you go so if you look you can see there's a DVI I connector but that will not fit in a DVI D socket okay because there's two extra pins above and below the flat blade but you can see a DVI D will because the pin uh, configuration matches up so there you go I uh, hope this has been helpful uh, I know it's I understand it's really confusing but you know, I hope it's been a help. So uh, there you go. If you've got any questions or anything like that, please leave comments and uh, ratings and stuff. I'll put in the description the different types of cabling and uh, a link to a website if you need to know any more information. Okay, thank you for watching. Nice one.